I, I want to raise the issue that you're very well aware of, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Devil's Lake is a lake that has risen more than 30 feet in the last 15 or 16 years. Uh, Devil's Lake is now three times the size of the District of Columbia. Devil's Lake uh, is now forecast. We just have uh, in the last week a more, most recent forecast from the National Weather Service that the lake is going to go up another three feet this year. Uh, that puts it perilously close to an uncontrolled release of water out of the east end of the lake where the water quality is many times worse uh, the water quality in the west end of the lake. As you know, the entire transportation system is compromised in that part of our state. We've already spent $850 million, that's federal money alone, $850 million dealing with the flood threat in the Devil's Lake Basin. We've had hundreds of thousands of acres that have been flooded and inundated. People have lost uh, access to their land. We've spent hundreds of millions of dollars uh, raising the road network, uh, building a massive dike. It's been raised three times, protecting uh, the city of Devil's Lake. We have a town that is about to be flooded on the west end of the lake, the little town of Minnewakan. School is directly threatened. Uh, we've got uh, six million dollars has just been secured to move that school. We need to move uh, much of that community. Uh, the road and bridge network in the area, as you know, has been raised repeatedly and we require additional work or parts of the road network are going to go under this year. And maybe you could give us an idea what the plans are in the Department of Transportation to continue to help us with this crisis. Well, Senator, uh, thanks to your leadership and your, you know, others in, in, in your delegation, uh, we, we will be committed to working with you and others in the state to do whatever is necessary to make sure that uh, the roads and bridges are not compromised, the communities are not compromised. We are committed to doing whatever we can to make sure that uh, um, we take care of uh, continuing to to fix uh, the problem. Um, who, whoever, um, whoever named this Devil's Lake named it aptly. I think the, de uh, the, uh, the devil is responsible for this. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it's, a, it's a, something that belies belief, belies nature. So I don't know who else to blame but the devil. So that's why his name is on it, I guess. Uh, somebody was uh, prophetic in putting that name on it. This is a uh, this is a, a, a natural disaster, and we are committed to working with you to do whatever it takes to make sure that roads and bridges and communities are not compromised. I appreciate that, and you've been great. Uh, you know, I think so many people in the federal bureaucracy have hoped that this lake was going to just stop going up. We know in 4,000 years of history this lake has gone through this cycle now on its fourth time. And... When it's gone through this cycle, it has led to an uncontrolled release of water out of the East End. If it happens this time, now that that part of our state is populated, and the previous times it's happened, there was very little population, this will be a disaster of staggering proportions, absolutely staggering proportions. And so I wanted to again alert you to this latest forecast that predicts that the lake is going to rise much more than the previous forecast. And so we have an ongoing crisis. And I thank you for the help you've already given, and I, I thank you for the attention that you, I'm sure, will give to it.